Welcome to We Plus You, straight talk about conscious business collaborations. And I'm real excited today because today I have the honor to have Rick Frischman with me. And we're going to be talking about what it takes to publish. And we're going to be talking about Author 101 that's coming up. We're talking about all aspects of publishing, authoring, and exactly what it takes to do that. So welcome, Rick. I'm so happy you joined me today. Thank you. It's great to be here and uh, and to be seen. Hello, everybody in uh, in Google Land and uh, on on the internet. So I purposely dressed in orange so that uh, we'll have a bright, wonderful uh, conference here. <laughs> oh, I thank you. So I'd like to start out is you know you created Author 101, and so what was the insight for you to actually create Author 101? Where did the inspiration? Where did it all start? Where did Author 101 start? Well, I have been uh, promoting authors uh, for 37 years. December one, I think, will end my 37th year and start my 38th year. And uh, I always wanted to be an author, but I, I launched folks like Mark Victor Hansen, Jack Canfield, Harb Ecker. Um, no one knew who they were when we first started with them. Barbara Taylor Bradford, Barbara DeAngelis, um, John Grisham, I mean, a lot of novelists out there. And uh, realized that publicity and marketing is the thing that really got them going. Uh, we also worked with lots of famous people like President Jimmy Carter, but he didn't need me to make him famous. So, uh, But we realized marketing, even every famous author, uh, and politician that had a book out did marketing and publicity. So we started uh, doing an event with uh, Mark Victor Hansen many, many years ago called, called Mega Book Publishing. And I invited literary agents and publishers there, and folks met them and, uh, and got literary agent contracts and publishing contracts. Um, and then that morphed into Author 101 University in 2002. So we've been doing Author 101 University for about, I think this is our 11th year, maybe starting our 12th year, twice to three times a year. And we realized that folks need to learn everything about the publishing business. It's, a, it's changed so much over, over the years since I've started in 1976. And there's lots of great news for you, the authors out there, because now we have power. Um, but Author 101 University is a place where, number one, you can learn about marketing, learn about making money in the back end, learn all about publishing and the different ways of getting published. We'll talk a lot about that on this call. And also, uh, it's a place for you to bring a book proposal, and uh, we'll talk about how to do that and give you some, uh, some great tools to out, uh, now as well, uh, and meet literary agents, meet publishers, meet packagers, ghostwriters, um, so that you can actually walk out with a book deal or walk out with an agent right on the spot. And there are very few places in America, I think in the, in the world, that you can do that, that has agents and publishers that are looking for you and are open to, uh, to get book proposals and new books. And it's because, uh, and they're open to it because they know we have an amazing audience and folks who really know what they're doing, and they come... Uh, because already having done their homework. And lastly, we talk about writing a book. Um, I am uh, the crappiest writer in the USA, and that is pretty much known by everybody who knows me, and uh, uh, that I just suck as a writer. But I have 13 books out. Uh, I have sold hundreds of thousands of books, and I actually have two more books coming out this year. Uh, so the good news is you don't have to be a writer to be an author. You could be just like me. You just need to know a writer to be an author. And I talk my books. Actually, what we're doing right now is how I, how I do my books is that uh, I could do a, uh, an interview with you. You could ask me a question. I'll talk for a half hour, and that's the first chapter of my book. So this is how we write books these days. Or you can even just talk to your computer with a uh, software like Gra Dragon software, there's a lot of them there, that transcribe it automatically, and that will do it. So the good news is you don't have to know how to write. You just need to know how to talk. You do need to have a, a subject, but we're going to talk about book proposals, writing a book, the whole publishing industry, and uh, hopefully get you guys on your way. So right now, I want you to make sure you have a computer out. 
uh, or, um, or even a pad and paper. We're, we're going to give a whole bunch of websites. You can see my site right at the bottom there, author101university.com. Love you to look at that, check that out as we're talking. And then I'm going to give you some other resources. But write down these dates, October 24 to 27 in Las Vegas. That's the next one coming up. And we would love you to be there. We're going to give you a special coupon code, too. So uh, there you go. I see you have another question. <laughs> I do. So how many times a year do you actually have this? Because, like, for me, I would love to come this time, except I'm going to be in, actually in the hospital having surgery. Well, how uh -huh. many, I know you have this more than one time a year. So how many times a year do you have this event? Well, the next one, if you can't make October, is March 7 through 10 in Los Angeles. Um, at the right at the airport at the Westin Hotel. Uh, so that's the next one. If you can't make October, reserve the dates March 7 to 10. You can't sign up for it yet until this one's done. We'll have signups probably in December, but that's the one after this. And we may have one in between March and October uh, of 2014, possibly in Florida, but we haven't chosen the dates yet. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to map out a journey for people as we have this interview. So let's start with where does someone begin? So they have an idea, they want to write, so let's go from that piece because obviously before they get to finding going to Author 101 or actually I think they can go to Author 101 even before they write or have an idea because I think it's a good idea to go regardless. However, right. let's start with the, the, the journey of they have an idea, they're going to write. So let's start with that and then go from that. there to all the other aspects. Great, okay. It starts no matter what. I want you all to come to Author 101 University no matter what, even if you just have an idea or just want to learn about marketing, making more money, making money at the back of the room. Um, but here's your first homework assignment. I want you to start thinking about a book proposal. And it could only be three pages that you take with you, but a book proposal. Guy sent me a, a, a book proposal, Jack Canfield, Someone was sending me a book proposal a few years ago. He sent it to me, and I said, you know what? This book proposal really sucks. Get my book, Author 101 Book Proposals. It's under $10 at Amazon. Go through it and send it back to me. Your title sucks. we got to work on a new title. He sent it back to me. We worked on it. Long story short, it was Tim Ferriss, and the book title was the book turned into the four-hour work week, which sold millions of books. It all started with a book proposal, and he actually says, Get that book, Author 101, the yellow book for under $10. So what I want you to do is start thinking about a book proposal. And here's what's in the book proposal. Number one, I want you to write three potential titles for your book. And the title, here's your secret sauce, one to five words. After that, that you have a subtitle as the title, of the, is, the, is the promise of the book. But my books, Where's Your Wow, Guerrilla Publicity, here's where the four-hour work week. Um, blink all one to five words. Write down this site, rickscheapdomains.com. R I C K, Ricks, S, Ricks, Cheap, C H E A P, domains, D O M A I N S.com. There's a special site we have for authors. It's the cheapest place to get URLs. It's $9.95 a year. It's cheaper than GoDaddy and it doesn't upsell you. So go there. I want you to reserve. Titles, I want you to reserve your name. So Carly, you have a, a tough name. It's Carly Alyssa Thorne, T-H-O-R-N-E. I, yeah. I also have Carly A. Thorne as well. Okay, but here's the thing is that Carly you can spell many ways. Thorne you can spell many ways. You know, and obviously you have Carly A. Thorne because you couldn't get Carly Thorne, right? Okay. So here's who you are. You're Carly, you're the Carly Thorne. You're the original Carly Thorne. You're the one and only Carly Thorne. You're CarlyThorneAuthor.com. You're CarlyThorneSpeaker.com. You're also my Carly Thorne. And, of course, you have Carly A. Thorne, but T-H-O-R-N-E and T-H-O-R-N. So get it every misspelling of your name. There's something right there. Then I want you to get three to five different URLs for the title of your book. Really important. Okay. Back to the book proposal. Here's what we want. I want you to write down 15 chapter headings after your, your, your title of the book of what you're going to write on. Um, I want you to do a comparative analysis 
of other books that are similar to yours but different so that my book is a little bit like men are from Mars women are from Venus but mine is different because that was written in 1984 this is 2014 I'm an expert in this 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 so tell us the comparative analysis of other books that are similar to yours that have sold well and why yours is different uh, then very important is your platform we'll get into that but who are you do you have a list do you have a radio show do you have a blog what are your websites what are you going to do when the book comes out to promote it um, how many TV shows have you been on in the past how many radio shows newspaper stories etc the first thing we're going to do as a publisher or as a producer or an editor is do a Google search and see what comes up if someone contacts me they always say I just did a search and saw what came up about you and uh, as Tom Antion teaches look if you do a Google search on me pack a lunch because you're gonna be you're gonna be reading for a long time all the stuff that's on me. but the main thing that should come up first is your speaker author page so I have 13 books out I have a website for every one of my books I have websites you know a hundred different you know sites but the first one that comes up when you come up is obviously rickfrishman.com. So I want you to go to rickfrishman.com, R I C K F R I S H M A N.com, and see what I have up there. Because I'm going to be checking you out, and the agents are going to be checking you out, and you should have information about you, information to buy your books, streaming videos, streaming audio, testimonial, uh, pictures. You'll see pictures of me with President Carter, with John Grisham with all these famous people, Brendan Bouchard, etc. Um, and most importantly, an ethical bride, a freebie. So when you go to rickfrishman.com, I invite you to get my free million dollar Rolodex, 141 pages long, totally free. Just put in your name and email address. You can find out the producers of the Today Show, editors at the New York Times. You can't get it anywhere else. I don't say go to rickfrishman.com and go buy my book. I say get something. Hey everybody, we're back and it's Rick Frischman. We're talking about Author 101 University and we're talking about book proposals. I want to give you a fabulous free website. Uh, it's bpwiz.biz, B-I-Z, bpwiz.biz, B-I-Z. That's a site that will help you put your book proposal together. It's free. A student of mine uh, put this together a few years ago based on Author 101 book proposal books. So just take it and plug and play. Here's what Rick put in, and now put in your own, and it will do it for you. So that is the beginning of writing your book, is doing your book proposal. As we talked about that, the uh, chapter headings, the titles, the comparative analysis, and we were getting into your platform, which is the first thing that we're going to do and we're going to check out when you come to us is we're going to do a Google search and see what comes up first and your name should come up and in your name at your name should have your speaker author site like rickfrishman.com where you have streaming video streaming audio you can make audios just like we're doing now right on our com on our computer you should um, that should all be on your site um, testimonials pictures links to buy your other products uh, lists of radio shows you've been on lists of TV shows newspaper stories a media section so all that will be really helpful so we can see that you have a platform and you're gonna be doing something when the book actually comes out that's what we are looking for um, other sites by the way I mean when you go to my site you're gonna get my million dollar Rolodex you should have an ethical bribe you should have a system that will send out newsletters I have a newsletter that goes out once or twice a week you should have one too. You can use Constant Contact. You can use Infusionsoft. You can use any system you like. Mine is uh, Rick's. Um, I forgot what the neck. It's a shopping cart system. Uh, web Solution. Rick's Web Solution. Dot com. Uh, as you can see, what I've done with with uh, certain things I do is like Rick's Cheap Domains. Dot com. Rick's Web Solution. Dot com. Virtual Assistant is Rick's VA. Dot com. You should be doing the same thing as brand yourself so that you have several of your different um, things that you do. My dog agrees, by the way. 
uh, all very easy to remember and easy to get to on your site. Uh, the key thing is to get it done. Most people take years and years to write a book. It shouldn't take long. You can record your book for a half hour a day and do it and, and get a book done in a month. I mean, even less. If you record a book and, and just do it like this on your computer for a half hour each day, a half hour should probably be, you know, 10 to 15 pages. And you have, if you have 15 pages times 10 um, chapter headings, there's your whole book right there. Your book doesn't have to be longer than 160 to 200 pages. We want a short book. Brendan Burchard came to Arvin many years ago, and he was flat broke. He was actually in debt. He borrowed money from his parents to get there. He had a book proposal and nothing else. And I met him. This was six years ago. We were just talking about it yesterday. Uh, we, I met him. I introduced him to a literary agent. We took his book proposal. We sent it out uh, to several publishers. Uh, it took six months, but then Harper... Collins, Harper One, which was then Harper San, San Francisco, took it, published the book a year, about probably a year and a half later, and that was Life's Golden Ticket. But it all started with the book proposal, number one, and it started by showing up, number two. He borrowed money, he got there, and he met people. If you don't get off your butt and you don't start doing things, nothing will happen. Then we're going to be here next year talking about it and say, why don't I have a book? Why aren't I making money on the internet? How come I'm just, you know, in the same place? And it, the reason is you didn't take action. So I want you to take action today and come to Vegas, October 24 to 27. Book publishing is a different world now. You can get a book done one of three different ways. So Brendan came to me, actually, two years ago, he wrote a book in 13 days. In, um, in January, and he gave me the book on February 5th. I published the book on March 5th, and it was number one on the New York Times bestseller list on March 20th. That's how fast it takes to, to get a book out. Um, it can be very, very quick. And so you don't have to wait a year and a half or two years uh, to do it. By the way, I fed the dog. Just want to let you know, so don't feed him again. Just have to tell my wife, uh, we have little doggies, and I don't want to get him um, feed him one more time. Um, and they're writing a book on how to get your mother to feed you two times. But no, uh, they're very smart dogs. We, we only feed them one time at, for dinner. Um, but it can, it, the good news is you have power. And there's three types of publishing we want to talk about. Number one is traditional book, book publishing. What we just talked about, you need a book proposal that will then get you a literary agent. The literary agent then has to sell it to an editor at a major house. The editor has to go to publishing board, try to sell it there. Pub board has to try to sell it to the publisher. Then they come back. They give you, the author, a very small advance, usually for an unknown author. Typical advance could be $1,500. They take your rights, intellectual property rights, and they'll get the book out a year to two years later. They'll get a few books in stores. If it doesn't sell, those books will come back, and you can buy them, uh, or you, they'll destroy them. Typically, when you buy back's book from a, from a traditional publisher, like I have a book with McGraw-Hill called Where's Your Wow? It's a $20 book. I have to buy my book back for $10 a book. That's a lot. Now I'm trying to get my rights back for that book, and they own the, prop the intellectual property rights. I can't even get the rights back because they're still selling books. So these days, it's not always the best way to go with a, uh, with a traditional big book publisher um, unless they give you a lot of money. Now, after we published uh, Brendan's book called The Millionaire Messenger, it went to Number one in the New York Times, his agent, Scott Hoffman, who you'll meet at Author 101 University, sold his book to Simon & Schuster for $2 million. Well, that you got to think about. It's like, huh, $2 million. Should I take it? Maybe it's worth the money. So you got to decide how much money is worth it for you to sell it to a major publisher and wait a year or two years and give them your rights. 
Let's talk about the other side of publishing, POD, which stands for print on demand. That is the fastest, easiest way. It's kind of the, uh, the minor leagues of publishing. And iUniverse, Ex Libris, Lulu, CreateSpace, there are tons of POD publishers. You can pay them anywhere from $500 to $5,000. They'll get the book out in like three months. You keep your intellectual property rights. And they get the book out on Amazon and as an ebook. It's not bad. The downside is it will never go into a bookstore because it's not returnable. And anybody can publish a book POD. My dogs, who you just heard, they can publish a book and how to meet other dogs, POD, and three other dogs may buy the book. Uh, so it, it, the problem is it doesn't give you as much credibility with big media and with big other publishers. The typical POD books sell under 100 books um, a year. 100 books a year. So it's not the greatest way to, uh, to get it done. But it's a good way to get started. Um, our publishing company, Morgan James Publishing, we're a hybrid. We're right in between traditional and POD. So you kind of have the best of both worlds. Uh, check us out at morganjamespublishing.com. Um, and what we do, that's the way we publish Brendan's book. Uh, we have about 1,500 titles in print. We publish about 150 books a year, mostly nonfiction, but now we do fiction as well. We did about 25 fiction books. That's a story. Mm -hmm. And we do a few children's books as well. Um, so uh, we are a hybrid in that we can get a book out in about 10 weeks after you give us a finished manuscript. We don't edit your book because you retain your intellectual property rights. Uh, but we do everything else. We do the interior. We do the cover design. We print the books. We get it on Amazon. But then, most importantly, we have Salesforce, which is called Ingram Publishing Services. It's part of Ingram, which is the biggest wholesaler in the world that sells our books into bookstores. So just like Simon & Schuster has 30 reps, we have 30 reps that gets your books in there. Uh, but the nice thing is you retain your rights. You can get the book into the marketplace in 10 weeks or so. Uh, although we like to you know, wait about six months to get books into the stores, but we can move very, very quickly. And you're involved every step of the way with cover, interior, every decision. And uh, you're known as being published with a traditional New York publisher. So it's a good way of, uh, um, uh, of, of a mid-ground. We don't take everybody. We get about 5,000 proposals and manuscripts a year and we accept about 150 but we want to fall in love with you and fall in love with the type of person you are and Morgan James Publishing we give a, par a portion of every book we publish to Habitat for Humanity and we build houses in Virginia for folks and after we put a roof over their head we then give them a library book so we try to fill their head with knowledge as well and help them so we're looking for folks who give back um, in fact, at Author 101 University, we are going to be building a village in Africa. Lady Cynthia Kersey has done several of these, and we're uh, on Friday and throughout the whole weekend going to be having folks donate so that we will have an Author 101 University village in Kenya um, just to help people. And that's the type of people we're looking for. So uh, lots of ways of getting published. We try to give you a few different you know ideas now so you understand how it works and the different options available to you um, I urge you to go to author 101 University in October uh, it's only four hundred ninety seven dollars and you get to bring a guest for free we're doing a master class with Brendan Bouchard the day before on Thursday in fact we just posted a video on, on Facebook on that um, you can just go to Rick Frischman and take a look at that. I also invite you to go to Facebook. We have a Rick Frischman alum, uh, Author 101 alumni page. We have 1,100 authors there will accept you. And it's all authors just helping each other. And that's what this is about, is helping each other. So um, if you can't come in October, don't worry. You can come in March. We do it a few times a year. Um, get my newsletter. And just so you can, uh, for free, 
uh, see what we're doing. Lots and lots of great resources there. Uh, but we're here to help you. I've, I've published, again, um, hundreds and hundreds of authors in the past few years. Um, I work with 100 literary agents. We're here to help you get it done. And yes, I'm mean. I'm telling you today to write the proposal, bring it with you, get off your butt, and make a difference in the world. And uh, you can do it. And we have lots of folks that will help you. Um, John Asraf will be there, Peggy Lipton, uh, Bill Gladstone, one of the biggest agents in the world, is coming. He picks up 10 to 20 new authors every time. He's Eckhart Tolle's agent. Um, he did the dummies books. So he doesn't have to work, but he loves coming and meeting folks and just picking up new authors. Uh, lots of folks that will teach you how to make money. So I know a lot of you are hurting. A lot of you are reinventing yourself. And uh, Tom Antion, Wendy Lipton Dibner, you know, a lot of folks there are helping you how to kind of figure out the next step of your life and get what I call MPI. MPI, that is massive passive income. We want to get money coming in to your life every night as you sleep. And I know you feel you've been working too hard. There are ways to get this done, and there are lots of folks who are there to help you. So, um, you know, uh, if we were live, live, I'd take some questions. But uh, if you have any other questions I didn't touch on, I see you there in the bottom of my screen. You look marvelous. And uh, what else would we like to talk about? <laughs> no, actually, you've addressed. No, actually, I'll just let you go because you just kind of addressed go. everything I wanted you to touch upon. I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt, interrupt in your stream because you're marvelous. You actually addressed marvelous. pretty much actually, everything I wanted you to address. So it was perfect. Um, I think. I think um, the biggest thing, thing is. I think I'd love you to be the audience with three. One of I guess what would be three things would be that you want them to literally leave this conversation. With and immediately just go and do like, right away. Just go and do, like, right away. Yeah, I mean, here really important when when if you're coming or even if you're meeting an agent or on the phone, um, very important the first thirty seconds. I call it the elevator pitch. You've heard it, but when you're pitching producers, when you're pitching editors, when you're pitching literary agents, uh, a if you're in person with them, look them directly in the eyeball, just like. Now I'm trying to look directly into the camera so you're seeing my eyes. Look directly at in their eyes and stay locked on them. Secondly, shake their hand with a firm, here's, look at that, boy, my hand looks enormous, hello, um, with a firm handshake, especially if you're a woman. Uh, stay locked on them for at least 30 seconds and listen to them. And what they want to hear is who you are, if you're an author, what the title of your book is, what you do, what your USP is, unique selling proposition, why you are an expert. Remember, you are all experts out there. I want you to claim a title. I'm the number one expert in America on how to lose 20 pounds by next week. I am the expert on how to find a man and get him to marry you in one month. There's a big market. How you can find a financial analyst, a financial person that will help you and not take your money. You know why they call them stockbrokers? Because they're broker than you are. That's why. If they knew what they were doing, they'd be rich. There's a line we used with Charles Givens years ago. It still works. So have a couple of nuggets that really explain who you are, what you do, what, why you're unique and why you're the number one expert in the world. Now, don't worry if there are other experts in the world. That's okay. There's always going to be other experts. Claim a title. And again, if you have, you don't have to have a whole book proposal. Have two or three pages just saying, you know, here's what, who I am. Here's the title, all the things we talked about on two, three pages. And people will then ask you to send them the book proposal. Most importantly, have business cards with your name, your email, and your website right on it. And your email, by the way, should not be rick at uh, rick4278248 at yahoo.com. No, you see, can't remember that. Mine is rick at rickfrishman.com. 
Yours should be Sam at SamShapiro.com. So, and by the way, I just gave you my personal email. Email me. I respond to every email. Rick at RickFrishman.com. If there are questions that you are now thinking about after listening to this, just send me an email, and I will respond. I promise. Uh, I am uh, very good at it. I don't have a secretary. I hate secretaries. I do everything myself. Uh, I think there are two things. When people get a secretary and, and to, to control their life and, and guard phone calls, I actually answer my own phone. I mean, you call me. I have this with me all the time. I mean, this is my office. Um, I'm actually writing a book called Work From Your Pool, and that's my philosophy. I can do everything right here from my pool, walking in my pool. So I answer my phone calls. I answer my emails. Um, and I think if you, when you get too big to answer your own phone or answer your own emails, um, you're on your way down. And the other Rick rule is the moment I handle a lot of famous people, the moment you get your own plane, I promise you you're on your way to bankruptcy. Because if you're too big to, to fly on a commercial airliner, you're too big for the rest of the world. So I've seen it over and over again. I hope you know some of you are rich enough that you could afford your own plane, but please just fly commercial. So, um, but email me. Have your business card with your website. So mine would be you know rickfrishman.com or author11university.com, so people can check me out. My email address rick at rickfrishman.com. And my, my phone number that goes right to my cell phone is there. It goes to a Google Voice message cell phone, which is actually really cool to sign up for because when someone calls, uh, it tells me who that person is, and I can either send it to voicemail if I'm on a call or hit one and pick it up. Normally I pick it up, but if I can't take it that moment, I'll see who it is, and I'll call them back in a little while. But, uh, again... Uh, really important is call people back, you know, within 24 hours. Email people back within 24 hours. Be present and be there for them. And then the last, most important thing is ask them how they, how you can help them. If no matter what you do, anytime you are communicating with someone via email, on the phone, or in person. Ask them how you can help them and mean it. And the way to get things in life is not by asking for stuff. It's by giving back and helping folks. And I promise you, people will go out of their way to help you and, and help your career and help you get published and help you make money if they know that what you are all about is helping them. And uh, that's where I'm going to leave you today. Is I'm here to help you. Email me, go to my website, rickfrishman.com, get my Rolodex, come to Vegas. I'm being a son of a gun, I know, but I'm pushing you. Get off your butt. Today is the day to take action. I don't want to see you next year in the same place you are now. And uh, we can get you a roommate. The rooms are really cheap. We can get, you know, help you out. Um... I even, you know, for three people who are watching this, um, again, it's all about giving back. We've got houses. Um, I will even offer three scholarships, and here's how we'll do that. Send me an email, rick at rickfrishman.com, and say scholarship and say, and give me a 100-word uh, essay. I don't read a lot. Just 100 words saying who you are, how Author 101 is going to change your life, and why you deserve a scholarship. And uh, so, again, we always want to help people. It's not about the money. We're trying to help folks. So send me an email, why you deserve a scholarship, and we'll give three. One, two, three. That's it. But then it's closed. And uh, just to help you out. Um, early bird 13 is till October 1st. We have, it's the 26th. So you have a few days to save $100. That's a special coupon code. Um, and, again, you can bring somebody for free. So let me know how I can help you. Email me. Call me. Go to my website. Get my Rolodex. We're here to make you get off your butt and change the world because you have a message. Get it out. Change the world. And we'll see you in Vegas.